Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to more Zelda Skyward Sword Dungeon 6 Blind Run thingy of sorts. I have no idea what I'm going to be titling these videos by now. <laughs> I guess I'll find out when I upload the last part. A new, new kind of Lizophos? Hello? What? What? Huh? Dark Lizophos. Oh my. <laughs> I was not too happy to see you guys constantly popping up because you guys were boring in Ocarina of Time, but you seem like a boss kind of Lizzo. Well, I guess all Lizzo folks are sort of a boss, and oh, he can also curse you into not using your sword, apparently. And uh, yeah, that all right, you're going down, baby. Yeah, stab. Uh, you feel pretty much like the original Lizzo folks up to this point. And you were. <laughs> uh, I guess maybe it's because he didn't spew any of that dark breath stuff to prevent me from using my sword. But that was pretty easy. But I've defeated a bunch of Lizophols in this game already anyway, so I'm used to fighting them. Um, okay, let's just move on. I highly doubt I can, like... Yeah, I can't go over that. <laughs> I just thought I would try it for the fun of it. Like, maybe there would be a shortcut later on. Well, not a shortcut, a uh, secret way or secret passage. I bet you this is a return path. Whenever you see like a switch behind the gate that you can't touch, it's usually because it's a return path. So just skip that. And more lava. Um, I got these guys. I always find it the easiest to just defeat them by throwing bombs at them like that. I could also shoot them with an arrow, but I've, I've just gotten so used to... Um, throwing bombs at them, that's just like, eh. It's my, it's my preference of sorts. You know what, maybe I, I shouldn't be using bombs. Maybe I should be using arrows because of the fact that I uh, don't really have all that much... Uh, all that many bombs left, excuse me. Uh, I'm going to do that and try and snipe him as well. Eh, good. Uh, now, what do I do here? <laughs> it looks like this is a room for the beetle, given that there's those little flying areas out there. Like, you see there's that one over there, there's that one up there, so it looks like that I have to fly around with the beetle to get some stuff, and... My wallet is completely full here. It's just, it, it's Ocarina of Time all over again, so it's like, what's the point of getting those rupees now, when I could, like, if I have to come through this dungeon again later? And like recollect them because it's like rupee overflow and it's completely useless then otherwise I, I probably have to make another water i mean a lava raft of sorts but uh, no i'm just gonna avoid <laughs> avoid the rupee well forget about that <laughs> okay what am i supposed to, can i like blow this up because i remember i was able to stop the flow of lava by blowing or say increase the flow or something of lava in other areas by blowing the thing up next to it or I think you get what I mean here so I'm just, I'm just randomly trying stuff here in uh, the probably very unsuccessful blind run here and, and now will this move that is the question that does not move in the slightest and it even sank hmm all right well is there any flow of lava? Yeah, there's a flow of lava... Flow of lava over there. And... So I gotta get get across there somehow, I think. I don't... Unless there's like a... a, a claw shot target. Again, blind run thoughts here. This is why I don't do blind runs. <laughs> and I gotta run off the... I just see my earrings just uh, go on and off there. I never noticed that before. Uh, to protect myself from heat, heat damage. I forgot the name of the earrings, but you get them before you come to uh, this new area. Uh, you're only able to access this area after you get those earrings, so... There you go. <laughs> That's why I said uh, if you are... Uh, if you haven't gotten this far in the game, I gave you a fair warning that uh, you'll be spoiled of things up to this point in the game. Now I'm going to check down this route, just because it's a new route. And avoid the rupees with my giant hitbox beetle. <laughs> Did you ever notice these beetle, the, the, I mean, this beetle thing? It's got the, hu the largest hitbox I've ever seen for uh, something so small. And I'm not gonna have enough time to. I betcha. 
that I have to blow that statue's mouth open to create a current. I bet that's what I have to do. Okay, so what I want? Uh, I don't know what I want to do here. I need, I need because that beetle only has a limited amount of time, so I got to make it as efficient as possible. I, I think. Uh, can I like get around it by going up and through here? Like if I, yeah, I can. Okay, so I grab that. Now let's try reaching the lava statue and see if I can blow it open. And if that, see if that does anything. Yes, it does. And I assume it's making a current now. It doesn't look any more vigorous than it did before. <laughs> Maybe it's just the fact of that thing makes a current for that route over there, and that one makes a current for that lava flow there, or something like that. I don't know. I'm just trying to make logic of this here. <laughs> I probably shouldn't try, but I'm trying it nonetheless. Okay, now we're moving. Now we're going. And I gotta jump off probably there. Yeah, it's taking me right over to it, okay. And where does that... That just lands right there and sinks, right? Yeah. Okay, so there's a locked door there. Obviously can't go there. Probably gonna get the key for that door through here. And I do not have the... What the heck is going on? Hey, is that the guy? Maybe that's the guy that... Hmm. <laughs> No, nah, he's not the guy that I knew before. Just a guy apparently being tortured about lava. A actually, you kind of are. You're pretty entertaining just hanging there. But how do I save you? That is the question. No, I don't. I don't want to z-target you. I want to. Oh, oh, you. Oh, you can't stand on that. Why? Why did I think you could walk on that? It just looked like. Oh yeah, it is glowing a little bit. It just looks like a regular ground. I figured that that glow was like from the lava, giving a light effect or something like that. Okay, what what do I do? I want to try. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. Okay. How about? No, not that. So something tells me this won't end well for him if I cut that. <laughs> let's just not do that. Uh, let's. Try and blow up the whole rigmarole there. No, that did nothing. Okay. So maybe that's just there to hinder you like it's doing a very good job of. Okay, I have a lot larger hitbox than I look, obviously, as well as that beetle. No, wait, not. <laughs> I chose the beetle because I said the beetle, but I actually wanted the claw shots. There we go. And I don't need that. I'm probably going to get a new item here. Just because there's this new kind of ground. No, I got a key. Um, well, I can unlock that other door, but oh no, not you two. Uh, wait, wait. I can I can blow this stuff on the ground. Is that hinting me that I am able to affect this stuff? Oh, I can. It, this does actually. It gets affected by my gust jar thingy. I, what's the name of this thing again? I forgot. The gust bellows. There's a gust jar in uh, Minish Capsule. That's what you know reminded me of it. Okay, so I guess I'm supposed to do this. Yeah, that works. So why was why was that claw shot target there? Was that? Oh, I, I get it. They just wanted me to like figure out how to get back through there, and they did that a rather elegant way by sort of hinting that I ne needed to get out this uh, gust bellows thing. Okay, what what is that supposed to do? That does absolutely nothing, but it doesn't help him. <laughs> Well, I got the key, so obviously I can't do anything more here at the moment. Or at least I don't think I can. So let's just move on, go through the store. Yeah! Mm, this is the more natural area of the place, I guess, that where plants can live. Uh, what are these things called, anyway? Water fruit. Ah, that, so they are very, very, very wet. I like the watermelon, except they're, ah, hanging on a tree and they're sharp. Why didn't I, I thought the leaf, that they were just like leaves, but they actually hurt you. Uh, well, I guess, you know, sharp leaves can hurt you and stuff like that, but you get what I mean. I thought that they were harmless kind of leaves, but alas, they weren't, and I really didn't need those rupees. 
Um, oh, I guess I just gotta clear my way through these things. Yeah. Just a link. Stop ramming your head in, into the spiky thingies. The water fruits. I don't know how tasty they are. I mean, they are fruit. I don't know. Um, I hear battle music, but what? Are, oh, you! <laughs> I didn't see you up there. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um, this probably requires me to, yeah, douse the mouth open. I mean, douse the open mouth with uh, some water, probably from a beetle. I mean, probably from, probably with the beetle. Excuse me. Probably just need to grab one of these things. Because that's how I entered the temple to begin with, was uh, solving that puzzle. Uh, so I just gotta find something that I can... Uh, what, what? What's in here? <laughs> find something that'll be able to give that thing water. Oh, and this is something that I find really annoying about this, this game. Is that every time you get one of these, after you turn off the game, it reminds you of what the heck it is and takes you to the inventory screen. I know what it is. Why do you have to tell me that every time? It's just so annoying. <sighs> okay, I'm. But you probably get you probably get that impression as you're playing it as well. I, or I should say that probably annoyed some people. I don't know. I'm staying far away from like message boards and stuff like that of this game just to make sure I keep this game as blind as I possibly can for myself. Um, well, I'm. I guess I have to figure this out now more than ever, because this is like the ideal position for me to... No, that just knocks it off. I thought like maybe I could carry one of those things over to that statue, but that's apparently not the case. I probably have to throw something from there onto the statue. I don't know what yet though, obviously. Hence the uh, blind run thing here, and why I don't do blind runs. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna keep going through this path, I guess, and see what... Wait, am I back on... Yeah, I'm back on this main path. Um, do any of these have water? There's a fairy. What? I can never grab fairies. What is... There we go. <laughs> what is wrong with me when it comes to fairies? Red Ruby... Not Red Ruby Restaurant. Okay, I'm puzzled. Because <laughs> it's like... Okay, I, I'm here. But what do I do here, is the question. Am I sp supposed to take this one because it's from that opening and move it to that mouth opening to quench its thirst? I don't know. <laughs> Again, it's why I don't do a blind run, because I, I have, even if, like, even in Master Quest, when it, I said it was, like, semi-blind, because I didn't remember the game all that much, I still had a uh, general idea of what I wanted to do during each area, because, you know, I was quite familiar with the certain things as I went. Okay, what I'm going to try doing is, like, shooting, like, getting, no, that's not going to work in the slightest, is it? How about blowing it over to it? I don't know. That, that just makes a jiggle. <laughs> I doubt that's the effect that I'm looking for. Ah, stop growing back so quickly. Those plants are going to kill me alone. <laughs> um, see, now, in, in, in a blind run, like what I'm doing right now, I would, I would be questioning myself, like, should I, should I stop talking here so I can cut over to the spot where I actually figure out the solution? That, that's the kind of stuff that I would be questioning in a blind run, and it's why I don't like doing them. And it also makes the actual recording and the actual skill of my gameplay a lot sloppier as well, so it, it just overall takes a lot longer than it would if I were to do a like second or third run through the game as the walkthrough like I did in uh, Master Quest or Sunshine, you know, Super Mario Sunshine. I am baffled. <laughs> okay, there's there's got to be more to this room. Um, it doesn't look like there's more to this room. <laughs> there's that spiky limb there and there doesn't appear to be anything that I can like grab onto with the whip because you know when there's something that you can grab onto 
Unless I can grab onto these things with the whip. Um, let's try. Uh, let's see if I can grab it. Even if I grab it, it's still gonna hurt me because... Um, because, you know, they're spiky, or at least I think. Or will it? Um, well, I, I don't know, actually. Maybe the whip it... Because I need to be able to take one of these things over, you know, to there. But the question is which one, and what is... Yeah, the whip doesn't let me grab onto that in the slightest. How about claw shots? No. Um... Um... I tried everything. <laughs> everything in my repertoire. Hmm. And this would be the parts that uh, you as the viewer would be screaming, Peek again! The answer! It's right there! It's obvious! You should know this if you've been playing the game! Yeah, and that's another thing that I try to avoid is the uh, derp -a derp sort of uh, moments. I mean, everyone has derp -a derp moments as they play. I mean, the answer to this is probably obvious. I'm just not seeing it. <laughs> um... Let's... Maybe I should be trying a little harder with the whip and, like, pulling it back or something. And I, I didn't see any of those fruit above the, the mouth thing. And I, and I know there's no other pathways that I could take up to this point. It was all blocked over by lava. No keys. See, aren't blind runs awesome? <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. Did I miss something back here, maybe? Might be? I'm just gonna take a look around... Yeah, this would... If, if I was taking, taking these uh, videos uh, as a production value seriously enough, I would have cut all of that out by now. Uh, that's, that doesn't help me at all. Sometimes when you dig in those dirt spots there, it uncovers, like, um, air gusts and stuff like that when you dig through them once. And that, that, that sometimes can let you gently drop things down that would normally smash that hits the ground or something like that, or at least that's what I would imagine. <laughs> um, I really have no idea. Seriously, oh my. And people wanted me to play this game as soon as it came out, as a blind run. Yeah, that's why I'm making this video series here, to show you exactly how things go. <laughs> and uh, when it goes like this as I'm recording, it gets... It, it would get sort of discouraging because, you know, everything gets like super repetitive just roaming around the area enough times, and yeah, I'm not seeing anything of importance. <laughs> and like, when I, before, when I were to, I, I should say, when I would um, fill that mouth, I mean, that statue up with water, I would just pour water into it. But alas, you can't do that from this distance. That's why I thought I would have to use, like, the beetle to carry it over, or something like that. Can I, like, maybe grab onto? No, I just go right through it. What if I grab onto the dot? That does absolutely nothing. And that was a perfect shot, too, aiming at it. Um... Can I, like, blow one off gently if I blow at it enough? Like, one, one of the ones that's close to the ground or something like that? It doesn't really look like it's budging, does it? No, not really. Um, let's let's try and get one down with the whip gently. Like if I were to gently flick it, no, it just automatically opens up and then plops to the ground. And I don't I don't believe there's any new moves that you can do with the whip. I 
and I tried shooting that one through the opening over to that over there, you know. Hmm. What am I missing? I'm definitely missing something. I didn't see any special places in this room that I might have to go to. I've hit every plant that I know of, so they don't drop anything special. Unless I missed a plant. I don't know. I don't. I highly doubt that hitting all the plants would actually cause something to happen. What is this symbol on the floor? Just some sort of sun. I doubt that's an indication to the solution to this puzzle. Uh, as long as I'm wandering around randomly here, I should take a, a little note that I that I think the graphics of this game, not that I you know believe graphics make a game better, because that's it's pretty stupid if you think that. <laughs> but the graphics um, are a very very nice art style. It's like watercolor, and it even like you'll notice the draw distance in the background. Like normally. That would be either blurred or fogged out, but instead they compensated by making it look like a watercolor. See how they do that uh, neato texture thingy there? And that's a rather elegant way of compensating for uh, draw distance that games have. I think that is quite nice. So yeah, I've been wandering in this room for what, like 10 minutes now? <laughs> Then again, I was doing that kind of stuff in uh, Master Quest as well. Because you'll see that that there is that sun, it matches that symbol right there. Eh, what if I, like, poke it? Um, wait, wait, did that... I actually got one on my sword? Oh, I see. And then I do this. Eh. Very clever puzzle. I did not expect that in the slightest. Alright, now I can progress. Uh, there's a save point there, so I think because I've been... You know, wandering around that room aimlessly for the past ten minutes, as I said. I think I'm going to save there and end off this part of sorts, if you can call it that. But I'm going to end it off on a safe note by killing off those guys. <laughs> And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next part when we do some more blind Zelda shenanigans here. That will probably be very redundant, because I'll be trying to figure out stuff just like I did in that room. 